first off, I want to thank you for taking the time to do this with me. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'm a, I'm a big fan of what you've done, and uh, I think you've done some really brave work with your career, and uh, I think it's cool that you're coming to the Cedar Valley. Awesome. I can't wait to get there. It's going to be a, it's going to be a fun leg of my uh, world tour this year. I've been going all over literally the whole planet, and... Um, and uh, usually we, you know, fly from place to place because I don't normally have four shows in four cities that are kind of relatively close together. But uh, we're doing four shows in Iowa, so I'm going to do a fun thing with my website where I have people sort of tag along with us on Twitter as I as I tweet. I'm going to tweet my location between shows, and I'm going to film some funny videos with people out in the in the uh, Iowa uh, <laughs> state of Iowa. Cool, that's very cool. That's a great idea. Um, I got some questions here for you, Tom. But first, the first question is, what inspires you to do this? Um, Stand-up comedy or just uh, generally just pursuing uh, this uh, crazy show business? Uh, you know, a little bit of both. I mean, what, what inspires you to get up and, and get in front of people to, and, and perform? Well, you know, it's, uh, I think it's something that you just kind of... Uh, is in your blood a little bit, you know. I uh, started doing stand up when I was 15 years old, and I just when I went down to the comedy club, I just knew that I wanted to get up on stage. I'd always kind of been the class clown and uh, goofing off and uh, trying to get laughs with my friends and things like this. And uh, you know, I've pursued you know doing television and these kinds of things all my life. And uh, you know, I've started really, you know doing this full time only about a year ago uh, maybe a year and a half ago right. uh, but I've been literally on the road full time for a year and um, you know I was doing my web television show mm -hmm. getting so many people calling in from all around the world you know right and uh, I just thought this would be a cool way to go around and uh, and uh, meet everybody you know yeah. literally everybody that calls into my show and people that have been watching my show over the years and stuff you know, on the internet, it's so interactive that, you know, people have literally been calling and requesting from Iowa, from Australia, from England, all over the place. Right. You know, come to England, come to, you know, Vancouver, or what, whatever it was. So so a tour tour and a stand-up tour seemed like it would be a great way to do that. And, you know, I've always really wanted to focus on this. So I really sat down and started writing jokes and focusing on it. And, you know, once I started doing it, it just became so addictive. You know, it really is something I love, getting up on stage and, and uh, you know, feeling the energy of an audience and getting those big laughs. And mm -hmm. It's something that I've always really enjoyed doing in my show and, uh, and in the past when I, when I did stand-up. So, you know, now that I'm doing it, I've sort of, like, uh, decided to pursue this. I just really can't stop, and I've just been on the road pretty much constantly yeah. since I started, so... Yeah, it's kind of, a, it gets into your blood, and, and it's hard to get out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know, I've read and I've heard in several different interviews and stuff like that about comics being funny on stage but having a sadness in their lives. Do you think that's part of uh, why you do what you do? Do you think that there's an underlying, you know, I, to get attention somewhere? Um, I don't know. I mean, uh it is early in the morning, too. I don't sound that uh, messed up, do I? Or, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I mean, I think, I think you know, I overanalyze things in the world constantly. I always have since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I think when you overanalyze things and you look at things too closely, sometimes it can uh, make you uh, freak out a little bit mm -hmm. about the world and society or life in general. And... Uh, and, uh, you know, what I think comedy definitely is a fun release for that, you know, because you can take all these ideas that you have rattling around in your head and put them together in the right order mm -hmm. and uh, add a punchline to it. And all of a sudden, all these things that are sort of depressing actually become funny. And it's a relief, you know. Mm -hmm. I think it's a relief for the audience. It's uh, definitely a relief for... Uh, for me, um, you know, I've been through some crazy experiences in my life. I've had cancer and, and things like this, and it was very scary, you know, uh, negative, shocking experience. Mm -hmm. But uh, but if you know, you take all that and you get up on stage and t 
talk about that and other things that have bothered you and make a joke out of it and everybody's all of a sudden laughing about it, it becomes kind of a... Uh, kind of all right you know right you know what a really funny point is you know after your being a fan that i that i have been uh i saw your show about the cancer and stuff like that and i actually went and saw my doctor and got a physical and, and got checked out because you know i'm not much younger than you and i thought you know if it can happen to someone as young as you were it could happen to any of us yeah a lot of people did that actually you know obviously the show on mtv was was very popular at the time and a lot of people saw that that episode and um and uh, you know, I've had uh, literally encounters with uh, you know probably close to a hundred people over the years who said that they actually diagnosed their cancer because of that. You know, right. um, somebody comes up to me at one of my shows almost once a once a week, and I've had people email emailing me and writing me letters for years. Uh, that uh, that you know really credit that episode with with saving their life. So it was very very, uh, very uh, amazing experience putting that together. And right, and it was another part. Of, it was another part of why I think you're brave is because you put it all out there. You didn't you didn't keep it back. And uh, you know your show on MTV and a lot of the comedy and stuff that you've done. You, you're kind of out of the box and you and you push people's boundaries, kind of like what Andy Kaufman did. You kind of spawn this whole genre of you know kind of crazy physical dangerous comedy do you do you uh do you agree with that um well i i definitely think that i was doing stuff with a home video cameras out on the street sort of do-it-yourself tv long before you know youtube or other shows that have done that and i think that's where i really kind of found uh you know uh a niche there was, you know, was was uh, you know, jumping on to the technological shift in the, in what you can do with broadcasting very early on, mm-hmm. and uh, you know when you take it out of the studio and when you you know are suddenly in a no rules limitless environment and you allow yourself to be as creative as possible and. As a comedian, push your boundaries as far as you can possibly go. You end up doing some really crazy stuff that's never really been done on TV before. Mm-hmm. So that was that was definitely something that I, you know, look back and think that was pretty cool that we did a lot of that kind of stuff first. And and uh, you know now um, now with the internet, I feel like that's why I've sort of jumped so full steam ahead into doing uh, web broadcasting is because, uh, you know, there's all this technology now that allows you to do studio-based TV with absolutely no, uh, you know, uh, limits right. and uh, no restrictions. And, and, uh, and nobody telling you that you can't do that because the sponsors won't pay for it, and nobody telling you you can't do that because FCC won't let you do it. Yeah, exactly. And that's kind of, uh, kind of what's really fun about doing my show on TomGreen.com or... I can have on any guest, and we can just turn on the cameras and start talking about stuff, and uh, it becomes uh, becomes a lot of fun. Yeah. Do you find that being in a position of interviewing other people makes you a better interview for people like me? Uh, yeah, I, I think probably I've gotten better at answering questions over the years, having asked so many, and, and uh, also I do a lot of interviews, so, you know, I'm literally... On, like uh, as I said, I'm on a world tr- tour every week. I'm in a different city, or at least one or two cities a week. In every city, I do at least ten or twelve interviews. So I'm doing about twenty, thirty interviews a week um, for the last year. So uh-huh. you know, I've, 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 you start to figure out what it is that you're trying to say. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. Uh... Not not that it's. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm reflecting that now, but uh, you know, I, I do. I do have a. You know, uh, sort of uh, been talking a lot about this web television show that I'm doing, a lot about my stand up, and trying to get the message out about what it is that I do. So, right. so you know, I I hope I hope I'm conveying some sort yeah. of. Yeah, and I'll lead you idea. down. I'll lead you down that path too. Tell me about what your new show has. What what are you, you going to have in store for us in the Cedar Valley with your new show? Well, you know, I uh, I've uh, I've been basically uh, writing a lot of. Uh, stories and jokes and stand-up comedy 
you know, almost in the traditional sense, although I'm taking things to a very ridiculous place, as as I, I like to do, mm-hmm. but I think that's sort of what you're supposed to do and stand up to, so, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, it's, it's probably in some ways, you know, the, mo- the most traditional form of comedy I've ever done, stand up, you know, and mm-hmm. I, uh, I really am enjoying it, you know, being on stage and having no gimmicks, no, no, uh, no tricks, it's just me and a microphone and, uh, and an audience, and I'm, uh, you know, basically telling a lot of, uh, talk, talking for, you know, an hour and 15 minutes or so, telling stories, uh, a lot of jokes about, you know, uh, that I've written, and also a lot of uh, sort of social commentary and uh, poking fun at the world around us. I talk a lot about technology, talk a lot about the changing face of, uh, you know, our society because of the internet, because of text messaging and cell phones and things like this you know uh, you know being 39 years old I kind of grew up on the cusp of this digital revolution mm-hmm. and being so immersed in it with my web show and with what I've been doing with my show over the year I cu- years I kind of uh, am able to sort of sort of identify some of the pitfalls of things that everybody really never says anything negative negative about like Facebook pretty much everybody you know, is having a kumbaya moment for it in the world and talking about how great it is. But I think there's a lot of things that are serious issues, see issues and things like this that can be addressed. They can easily be flipped into comedy, and I can paint sort of, you know, nightmare scenarios of how Facebook can, you know, cause our lives to be, you know, turned on their head. <laughs> and uh, that's what's that's what's really fun about stand-up, you know. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I totally get that. 